This is the third video in our series on prenatal genetic testing. So once again, a quick recap here. So we've said that there are two main types of tests, screening and diagnostic tests. Go ahead and watch the two previous videos, which I will link here, which are all about the screening tests. So once we have a result from the screening test telling us there's a high chance of the fetus having a genetic condition, expecting parents will be offered a diagnostic test. This will give us a confirmation of whether the fetus does have the said condition. And there are two main types of diagnostic tests. We've got chorionic villus sampling, or CVS for short, and amniocentesis. So let's start off by having a look at chorionic villus sampling. So first of all, this involves taking a small sample of placental tissue, which is done at around 11 to 14 weeks gestation. There are two main ways of how to obtain this sample. The first is through the tummy, called transabdominal. Essentially, a fine needle is inserted into the mother's tummy to obtain the placental tissue, of course, while being guided by ultrasound. The sample is then sent to the lab for genetic analysis. Another option is transcervical. Here, a small forceps is inserted through the cervix to take the sample of placental tissue. Okay, so next up, we've got amniocentesis. This involves taking a sample of amniotic fluid for testing. This is done at around 15 to 20 weeks, but can be done later. A fine needle is inserted into the mother's tummy while being guided with ultrasound once again, and a sample of amniotic fluid is collected and sent for testing. Now, of course, like any other procedure, both CVS and amniocentesis come with a set of risks that the mother should be made aware of. With both procedures, there is a small risk of miscarriage. This is estimated to be less than 0.5%, slightly higher at 1% in twin pregnancies. There is also a small risk of infection, around 1 in 1,000. And there's also a risk that a repeat procedure is required as not enough sample is obtained. The results are then discussed with their doctor and a joint plan made with the parents. I hope you found this series on prenatal genetic testing helpful. If you want to see more, like and subscribe.